This is just a quick video on how I make these garden obelisks for growing sweet peas or other climbers such as clematis. All you will need is some bamboo or some straight trimmings or cuttings from other plants in your garden. In my case, I have lots of yew, which I am now going to repurpose and keep the straight stems for further garden projects rather than keep buying things in. But if you do, if you don't have anything, then you can just go and get bamboo and just shop around when you're buying your bamboo because it can be varying in quality, but also more expensive in, say, a garden centre than just an ordinary craft or DIY or budget store such as Poundland, Dollar Tree, whatever, whatever you have over there in the US or elsewhere in the world. Once you have bamboo, a good stash of it uh, in your garden shed, it's as useful as any garden tool really. I do then chop it up also and use it as a little sort of protection around newly planted plants and flowers to prevent the dogs and cats just digging them up and, and accidentally trampling all over them. Right, so um, let's just crack on. So how do you make it? So you get your bamboo and you're going to need you know, between six and eight bamboo canes to make this obelisk. Uh, if you haven't got a lot or you, you want to keep the budget down, just go for six. And what you're looking for is four corners. So you need to then decide how big of the circle you want on the ground, you know, the space that you've got in your garden, where you're going to fit them. Mine varied from about 30 centimetres to 50 or 60 centimetres. And then once you've got that in your mind where you're going to plant them, anything thinner than that, it's just, they're just going to fall over, really. So canes, obviously, you want them about five to six foot tall. Uh, five is fine if you if you are on a budget or if that's all you can find. Sometimes bamboo canes are quite short uh, when you're looking in the shops. And sometimes the really longer ones are just that bit excessively more expensive so yeah just go for um the shorter ones if you can uh, if you if you have to uh, but you know something between five and six foot is around about right then you take your first you basically think then of your base as a square and you're going to put your um canes in you're going to push them into the ground a good one to two inches into the ground and a tip if your ground is really hard and dry just you know cup put a couple of cans watering cans of water on that ground let it soak right through go back and do more my ground is really soft so I can just push them in one to two inches so then you do four corners as if you're going to do a square and then if you only have six pick a nice you can if you, if, you, if you only have six, you can sort of space them so that they'll go round um, nice and evenly, of course. Think about that. But if you have eight, then you just put another, you put another bamboo stick in between the four corners, just slightly bulging out to give you that circle feeling. And then if you only have six, just readjust those four corners until the six are evenly spaced. I hope that makes sense. All right. And then the next thing you want to do is just once you've got them nice and solid, is just grab the canes at the top, bring them together and just tie them around the top with whatever string you're using. I used to use really cheapo string. I don't even think it was garden string. I just used to buy it for like a pound a roll from Home Bargains and... I just used that and then of course uh, the only thing with that is it does discolour and it can look a little bit uh, scruffy after a while. I mean by the time the sweet peas are growing up you won't even see all that stuff anyway. So um, I'm, I'm just thinking of you whatever you want to do but you can also buy this really nice thick quality twine that I've got here which I've this is like my fourth year of growing sweet peas before I invested in this because I just realized that the the obelisks themselves I wanted them to look like they had a purpose I wanted them to look a bit smarter than I've had them before while I'm waiting for the sweet peas to grow up and of course I will refine uh, all these things as I go along as my budget allows. So, you know, who knows next year, I might do something even more creative and more attractive. But for now, this is what I'm using. And this is really good to get you started. So you twine the top and then all you do, and this is all you do. And I used to fiddle about thinking I had to twine it around each pole. You don't, especially if you have a good twine. 
you just then spiral it down like a helter skelter all the way down to the bottom and if you're concerned about your cat getting underneath which mine has done before make sure it really is down to the bottom and make sure the gaps aren't too wide if you don't have pets you can widen those gaps which will make your string go further your string or your twine go further and then you just tie it off at the bottom and that is it that is it that's all you do and it's negligible cost it's whatever the bamboo if you're lucky enough to have straight twigs uh, straight branches growing somewhere that you've just clipped use those um, it's it's so easy and I'll put the link to the twine that I used which is from Amazon but you know I'm not endorsing Amazon and I'm not doing affiliate clips or anything like that I'm just going to put it there so you can see the size of the twine and everything if you want to go and source it from somewhere else and buy it from somewhere else that's up to you but that is it that's how you do it that's all it is it's so easy and then what I like to do is I like to dress the TP with solar fairy lights, little lights, so that they twinkle at night and they look absolutely magical at dusk uh, in spring when the sweet peas are flowering and these kind of lights are glowing underneath the foliage and the flowers and it just adds an extra layer of beauty and magic to the garden. So, you know, if that's in your budget for that, do that. If not, wait till next year and just collect them as you go. I found actually these solar lights, which I also buy from Home Bargains, have lasted me really well. Um, so they are great value. All right, that's it. That's my TP Obelisk video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. You can, I, I might even put this blog on my website with some more technical details if you want some more information about the lengths and things like that some more stills if you want to see that then head over to my website at www.jillbretherton.com thanks for watching see you again soon but oh by the way don't forget to subscribe nobody's subscribing well no that's not true you are subscribing but a lot of you are just watching and then moving away. So please subscribe so you remember who I am and click that notification bell. I post frequently and often and you don't want to miss my garden in the summer. It's going to be absolutely corking. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.